Tony Cade Bambara's The Salt Eaters, published in 1980, unfolds in the fictional town of Claiborne, Georgia, during the late 1970s. The novel's style is characterized by experimentation and non-linearity, weaving together various narratives and characters through thematic connections rather than a linear plot structure. It seamlessly shifts between past, present, and future, delving into the thoughts and actions of different individuals. At its core, the narrative revolves around Velma's spiritual rejuvenation under Minnie's guidance following a profound mental health crisis. From this focal point, the story expands to encompass the lives of numerous other characters. The book earned critical acclaim, including the prestigious American Book Award in 1981. Bambara drew inspiration from her own experiences within academic and activist circles, having taught at several prominent institutions and actively participated in the black arts movement. Her background in social work and psychiatric care also influenced the thematic depth of the novel. The Salt Eaters is an intricate tapestry of black voices, shifting perspectives and interconnected lives. It opens and concludes with Velma's transformative journey catalyzed by Minnie's healing touch. Velma, an activist grappling with personal and societal challenges, finds herself fragmented by various pressures, including her psychic abilities, marital discord, community rifts, and the fallout from her involvement in sabotaging a nuclear power plant. Velma, alongside her husband Obi, also known as James, established the Academy of the Seven Arts in Claiborne, adjacent to the Southwest Community Infirmary, where her healing unfolds. She is also part of the Women for Action group, comprising Ruby, Jan, and Palma. The narrative orbits around a group of 12 community members known as the Master's Mind, who gather around Velma's healing process. Throughout the novel, characters such as Velma's godmother Sophie, Mdir, and Doc Serge play pivotal roles, each leaving their mark on the narrative in unique ways. Meanwhile, Dr. Meadows and a pregnant teenager named Nadine provide additional layers to the story as they witness and participate in Velma's journey towards healing. Similar to Nadine, Cora remains present throughout the entirety of Velma's healing process. The ritual begins with Minnie enveloping Velma in her shawl, initiating a sequence where Minnie engages in dialogue with her spirit guide, Old Wife. This conversation touches upon theological matters with many rooted in Yoruban beliefs while Old Wife adheres to Christianity. As Velma undergoes the healing, she is submerged in a journey through her memories and visions. These recollections include discord with her husband Obi and interactions with other men, such as a confrontational moment at a political gathering where she advocates for gender equality. Additionally, the narrative follows Obi's movements within the academy, exploring his thoughts on its internal divisions and the presence of firearms. Palma, Velma's sister, and their companions travel to Claiborne on a bus, offering insights into the perspective of the driver, Fred, who grapples with personal loss and illness. Eventually, Fred seeks treatment at the infirmary, briefly witnessing Velma's healing in the process. Upon arrival in Claiborne, Palma reunites with Marcus, embarking on a journey to the Academy's Spring Festival. Meanwhile, Velma's other friends gather at an outdoor cafe, engaging in discussions about politics. The viewpoint of the cafe waiter, Campbell, adds depth to the scene, revealing his flirtation with John and his aspirations as a writer. A sudden rainstorm during Velma's healing brings together the disparate groups, symbolizing a convergence of their paths. Throughout this transformative experience, Velma encounters visions of mud mothers and confronts fragmented aspects of herself. Initially resistant to embracing these facets, she undergoes a symbolic death before emerging reborn, shedding Minnie's scarf as a powerful emblem of her metamorphosis. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.